Hello and welcome to Across Louisiana. My name is Steve Sawyer, your host for the program. Thank you so much for being a part of the show today. We ha really have a great show lined up. Monique Bonifons is the vice president of Take Paul's Rescue. She's also the founder of Take Paul's Rescue. And they've been in operation for about six months and they are an adaption service as well as a rescue service. And she's got a great story to tell. Lisa Conescu, Lisa's been on many times. She's the CEO for a wonderful organization, Jefferson Dollars for Scholars, which Cox is a founding member of and it's always great to have Lisa on the program. And finally, Mr. Earl Randall III. Earl is the New Orleans Field Office Director for HUD. He's going to be talking about a program that Cox and HUD have partnered together called Connect Home and also is going to be talking about HUD and uh, the many programs that they offer. And they are more than just a housing service. He's going to be talking about some of the local programs and how you can benefit from what they do. Again, Steve Sawyer across Louisiana. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Thank you so much for being a part of the show today. Very happy to have as our first guest, Monique Bonifons. Monique is the vice president and founder for Take Paul's Rescue. And like all the animals that we have come on the show, you've brought a little friend here, and that is... His name is Atticus. Atticus, and he is such a playful and well-mannered dog. What kind of dog is he? He's a wire-haired terrier. Because I, I, we were playing with him before we started taping the show, and he's just so friendly. He goes to everybody. Is is he adoptable? Atticus is adoptable. He's ready for his forever home. He's been in foster for some time now, so he's ready. He's been socialized. He's been vetted. He's been neutered. He would so, make an absolutely incredible great pet. Great family dog. So, Monique, if somebody watching the show just falls in love with Atticus and, and wants to uh, find out how they could up. How, what are the steps involved in doing that? Well, they can contact us. The name of our rescue is Take Paws Rescue. They can contact us and send us an email address. We will send them an application okay. they can fill out, return to us, and we'll contact them and, you know, arrange a meet and greet. Okay, we'll put your phone number on the <laughs> screen, but it's 504-914-4803. Do you have a website by chance? We, it is under construction. Okay. We do have a Facebook page, Take Paws Rescue. Okay. So we um, have recently been incorporated, and um, so we're working on our rest. Our, well, what about, what about uh, someone who has a pet and uh, it's just, I mean, things aren't going very well and they want to put the pet up for adoption. Do yeah. you take pets in like that as well? We do. Okay. In fact, we took one in recently like that. And, uh, and, and I guess an that's... An abuse case, yeah, you know, and, or, and, and, yes, we do. And I guess that's something, I mean, I've, I've got a pet and I'm a pet lover yes. and always had pets, but I mean, you do run in situations where sometimes you just can't Absolutely. keep the pet. And yeah. I, I guess it's it's far better to put the pet up for adoption than Absolutely. something unfortunately happened to the pet that you, you don't want to have happen. You don't want to bring them to a shelter. So, you know, ideally, if you look for a rescue and we will help in any way that we can, if we yeah. can't take it in personally, we'll either find a foster or, you know, another rescue who can take it. Yeah. So and, and so what, how did how, how'd you come up with uh, to found the organization? What, obviously, you're a pet lover. I'm a pet lover. And yeah. what, what was Always it about it that you just said, I, I really need to do this? You know, it's just the awareness over the years that, you know, made me realize the number of, you know, the statistics are just staggering of homeless pets, you know, in especially South Louisiana. I mean, <clears throat> it's a really bad situation here. Um, so, you know, I, like I said, over the past several years, I've mm -hmm. just, you know, met some people that have sort of pulled me into this arena and, um, you know, rescued a few, a few dogs, just homeless mm -hmm. dogs. and. You know, like I said, just awareness, and I just decided that it's it's almost like a calling. You have to really, it has to call you, and and yeah. you know, you just sort of, you know. Well, you're so great. I've fallen you're great into with, it. Basically. You're great with him. You, dogs only, or more than dogs, or um, I mean, you know, cats. And any? Dogs, cats. I mean, you know, primarily dogs yeah. and cats. But I mean, we would take, you know. I've have I have a friend who you know has a horse or she's a polo player actually. Yeah. She sends me horses and stuff, and oh, I'll forward wow. them on to someone I know who does who <laughs> rescues horses. So it's a little bit a little bit of everything. A little huh? bit of everything, but I mean our organization is primarily cats and dogs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And again, we'll put the phone number on the screen, but uh, Monique, it's 504-914-4803. Yes. Thank you for caring. 
Uh, thank you for doing what you do. I mean, it, it takes special people to do what you do. Yeah. And how long, how long has the organization been in existence now? I guess about, um, I don't know, six months. Six months? Okay. Yeah. So you're fairly new. Yeah, fairly new. Right. Yes. Uh, again, Atticus is uh, for adoption. He's such a great dog. Yes, and again, he we've really been having is. so much fun with him. He's Monique, precious. thank you for taking time to be on the show. Thank you for bringing Atticus well, thanks for to be on the me. show. We look forward to having you come back whenever you like, talk oh, more well, about I the would program. Love to. Love right. to. We'll bring lots of dogs. Okay, we've got a couple <laughs> more guests. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Always a pleasure to have Lisa Conescu on the show. Lisa is the CEO for just an outstanding organization, Jefferson Dollars for Scholars. And thank you for Lisa, having me. listen, yeah. thank you so much for taking time to be on the show. But not only that, thank you for what you guys do. I know Cox has been involved with the program since day, since one. day one. And, day that, and one. how many? How long has it been since Actually, day one? Now it's we, been a while. This, this week we will be 22 years old. 22 years. 23 old. years old. 23 years old. Yes. I've been with the company 25 years. So, okay. Uh, Miss Cindy and Wright. Yes. I know when Absolutely. she was here and she's still right. on the board and everything. So right. Dollars for Scholars, you guys do such an incredible job. Let's do this. You haven't been on the show in a while. Okay. Let's talk about uh, the mission of the organization the and of the some organization of the successes that you've had and so is forth. Is to expand access access to educational opportunities for students in Jefferson Parish Public Schools. So typically, that makes people think we give college scholarships, mm -hmm. which we do. Mm -hmm. But that's only part of what we do, because we have a broad definition of expanding access to be as inclusive as possible. Mm -hmm. So we give the college scholarships to the graduating seniors, which is what everyone associates with our program. But we also start with kindergarten age children to teach them and their parents about what educational opportunities are. Wow, I've got to admit, I didn't even know oh that. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, and what those kinds of options are for their children. That's, that's so we awesome. give summer camp awesome. scholarships so that those children can begin to cultivate their own interests in academic and, and educational areas and um, they can go to art classes and robotics classes mm -hmm. and Lego classes and we let the city be our source of, um, of summer programs. Mm -hmm. The greater New Orleans area and we make choices from among the programs that are um, within our budget and have some academic merit to them or enrichment merit to them and then we let the children and their parents choose. That's great. So they're going to programs all over the city from glass blowing to theater programs. I mean they're just doing everything you could wish you yeah, could and, do. And to your point it's so, more about giving scholarships. There's a lot more involved. And in it's that. an introduction. It's an introduction to them and their parents about pursuing your interests and that's kind of the message we want to give them is from a very early age because they'll grow with that and their yeah. parents will anticipate that and plan for it so we tell them right then and there that we're giving you an opportunity now we are we're gonna be around when you go to college and we're gonna have other opportunities for you then okay. and then the other thing we've kind of done is recognize the need to boost the kids who are Tops is such a fabulous option for mm -hmm. our kids in Louisiana. But if the kids are missing by their ACT score by mm -hmm. a point or two, they can't go to college. And yeah. it's a deal breaker. Lisa, before, yeah. before we yeah, run yeah. out of time, and I appreciate you doing the, the background sure. on that because that's awesome. You've got two big events coming up. We Your uh, August 5th Whole Foods 5% uh, day, which is incredible, and the auctions, uh, August auctions. Let's talk about yes. those real okay. quick. Well, August is usually a quiet month for us, but now it is really a bustler. <laughs> for, so on August 5th, Whole Foods has selected Jefferson Dollars for Scholars, and the Veterans Store will be giving 5% of all sales to Jefferson Dollars That's for Scholars. Awesome. Which Just is for one day only, August 5th The whole day, okay. 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., okay. and it should probably raise enough to fund a couple of scholarships. I would think so. So we're excited, and we're asking everybody to stock up, mm -hmm. buy things by the case instead of by the bottle, and, you know, get the things that are non-perishable and, and hold on to them, because your money will be doing extra work, and you'd be buying them anyway. Absolutely, so, and then August and auctions. Then the, that's a program that this is our first year doing that. It's sponsored by Gulf Coast Bank, mm -hmm. and they allow and encourage and invite nonprofits to set up any kind of auction that they want. And um, auction 
set up, the, they're bringing their own items and either bring them to a branch or they'll put them online for you. Oh, that's incredible. And we're going to get all the money for the items that's that great. we auction. Yeah, you'd think August is a slow month because school's out, but uh, well, it sounds like school you guys, starts school's starting now back now. August I mean, I think school's going August the 5th or something right, like that. Right, so we're going to be auctioning some, some nice, uh, desirable high ticket items. We have a very large painting by our friend artist Eddie Mormon and he's doing um, another painting for us that I don't, haven't seen yet. We have a couple of condos that we're going to be auctioning oh, wow. weeks. We have... Um, now can you go on the website? Yes, okay. you'll be able to go on the Which website. Which is Jefferson Dollars for Scholars. Jefferson do do well, you'll go on the Gulf Coast Bank website okay. to auctions in August. Okay. And you can either select trips, you can either do it by category, or you can go to the things that we have listed and okay. just search by Jefferson Dollars for Scholars. So they're, they're giving me the, so, the wrap it up signal, that and that's quick. okay. Yeah. But I, did, I want to point out Jefferson Dollars for Scholars.org is your website. All yes. information about the organization Everything can be yes. found on the website. We'd love to have you come back whenever you want. Seem to have talk a lot about to say, the, the, right? you have a lot to say and you've got a lot right. to offer and we appreciate right. thank you. the fact and congratulations on uh, 23 years thank of success you. that's thank awesome you. It's thank you so much for being here Thanks we appreciate it us. we have another guest stay with us we'll be right back thank you. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Thank you again so much for being a part of the program today. Our final guest is Earl Randall III. Earl is the New Orleans Field Office Director for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban, Urban Development, and it's easier to say HUD. <laughs> I started to say that, then I thought I'd say, I'd say the whole time. And Earl, you mentioned you've been with uh, the department for over 15 years. So Correct. That, that's fantastic. Born and raised in New Orleans, so uh, anything there is to know about HUD, you're the man to get in touch with. And this is the first time we've had somebody from okay. HUD on the program, so I greatly appreciate you taking time uh, to be on the show. So, and with that, I say that because Talk a little bit about the mission of HUD for people who might not understand okay. exactly what the program is all about. Well, uh, thanks, Steve. Uh, glad to be here. Uh, the, the, the mission of HUD, you know, our, our mission is to, to provide quality housing and, and, and better opportunities for individuals uh, throughout the country. Uh, more specifically in our market here in Louisiana, we, we're having a constant struggle with affordable housing. And uh, I say we have a struggle with affordable housing because now in these economic times, we, we, we're, we're struggling with that dilemma of everyone needs affordable housing. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs uh, to, to pay a significant, they don't want to pay a significant portion of their, their, their income mm -hmm. on housing. Uh, we, we, we deal with situations where individuals are, are what we call rent stressed mm -hmm. or uh, individuals that, that may be paying, paying mortgages that uh, they're paying a significant portion of their income on housing needs. And that comes that 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 makes us fight with what's affordable. Yeah. And so you know we 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 we're trying to combat that uh, really across the board. But HUD not only deals with just just rental housing and, and mortgages, but you know we have core programs that deal with community development and economic development. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, one of our, our major pro, uh, programs is what's called the Community Development Block Grant. Mm -hmm. This these funds are, are given to our entitlement cities and our state. Uh, to provide community development opportunities, economic development opportunities, critical infrastructure opportunities. Uh, I tell people all the time, if, if you look at your community, it's pretty much a HUD dollar somewhere in, uh, mm -hmm. in, in that community. Uh, HUD played a significant role in disaster recovery. Uh, as you know, Louisiana was allocated uh, over $13 billion yeah. for disaster recovery. Those dollars came through HUD, which came through the Community Development Block Grant Disaster Recovery Funds. So uh, we played a major, major role in, in the city's uh, recovery as well as the state of Louisiana. Yeah, Earl, let me add, real, real quick before we run out of time, there's a, a program that we're involved in now, uh, Cox and HUD are partnering together. President Obama just made the announcement. It's called Connect Home. Talk a little bit about that program. Okay, Steve, Connect Home is a very important uh, initiative that, that the president uh, launched. Connect Home is a continuation of what was uh, launched about a year ago called Connect Ed, mm -hmm. where the president wanted to connect 99% of students with uh, broadband access in, in the classrooms. Mm -hmm. But Connect Home takes it a step further. Uh, many students have access at, at 
in the classrooms and libraries, but once they get home, right. some, some, some households don't have access at home. Right. And so what that does for students, it cuts them off from being able to, to finish homework assignments, do necessary research, and it puts them behind in, uh, in, in their educational opportunities. Mm -hmm. But with Connect Home, we're looking to, uh, to expand broadband access to all HUD assisted units. Mm -hmm. And so what that means is for individuals that are at the, the low uh, end of the, the income limits, it gives them an opportunity to, to access uh, high speed internet and broadband uh, access across the board. Mm -hmm. So, so we're, we're real excited about what, what this does. It's, it's bringing in local government uh, participation, it's bringing in nonprofits, it's mm -hmm. bringing in uh, philanthropic organizations to come in and really bridge this digital divide. So yeah. uh, we, we're excited about this opportunity and Louisiana uh, has two major cities that's uh, part of this initiative. The, the pilot initiative has 28 cities uh, well, 27 cities in the Choctaw Nation in Oklahoma, and Baton Rouge and New Orleans are two of those cities, and, and we're, we continue we're to be. We're very proud. I, and before we close out, I know we with our Connect to Compete program that we're a part of. I'm, the HUD piece now just adds a bigger part of that, and it's a, I think it's a partnership that will work so well together. Earl, please continue to come back and update us more on HUD. I, I enjoy the opportunity to have you come on the show and talk about that. Before we go, I just want to make a comment that the website is www.hud.gov. All information about HUD can be found on that website. If you've got questions uh, about HUD, you can go to that website and find that as well. Again, thank you so much for being on the program. Oh, Great no to problem. meet you. You've been watching Across Louisiana. My name is Steve Sawyer. Thank you so much for watching the show. And as always, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.